is this section, and then we'll do some reviewing and take a test on Friday, and then all we have left is probability. Yep, and then we'll probably spend a week getting you ready for some Algebra 2 stuff, and then we'll review for finals, and then we're out of here. We don't have very much left. Okay, so we have spent most of this chapter dealing with arcs and angles, right? All right, so today we're going to deal with some segment lengths. Okay, if they intersect on the inside of the circle, okay, A times B equals C times D. And multiply the two, put them equal to each other. Okay, on the outside, okay, this, cha this changes things a little bit, okay? A is on the outside of my circle, right? So I'm going A times A plus B. So whatever's outside, so you're going outside times outside plus inside equals, what's my outside over here? C times outside plus inside. C plus D. Okay, and then the last one, if one of them's a tangent, so there's only one value there, Okay, so you notice there's just one value here, right? So it's a squared equals, and then this is the same as over here. What's outside? B times B plus C. Alright, so Intersects on the inside, right? Yes, no, kind of. Yep, intersects on the inside, so what do I have here when I multiply? 10x equals, we're going to multiply these together, 14 times 15, or 10x equals 210. So x is. Oh, that's not so bad, right? Okay. Okay, so let's look at number three. Now there's a little bit more going on. Because if I'm trying to find this guy right here, what do I have to do? 24 times what? X plus 7, so that's going to have to be distributed. Equals... 27 times 2. X plus 5. So if I distribute here, I get 24x plus 168 equals 27x plus 135. Okay, and then we got lots of algebra to do. Remember I said? I'm going to have to solve some equations, all that good stuff. 3x equals, what was it? 23? x equals 11. Easy peasy so far, right? Okay, it really doesn't get a whole lot harder. Okay, granted the chords are the easiest. The secants get a little bit more just confusing, so you got to make sure that you have to remember to add. Okay, so outside, A times outside plus inside. Okay, so A plus 19 equals outside times outside plus inside. 9 plus X. So, 8 times, what are we getting here? 27, so here 
remember, order of operations, you just you do what's inside your parentheses. Unless there's a variable, if there's a variable, then you have to do what? Distribute. So equals 81 plus 9x. So 8 times 27. What is it? I heard it. 
Okay? Because if you look at number 11, okay, and my tangent is what? X. So that means I have to do what? X squared equals outside times outside plus inside. You write 27 plus 49 on this? Do that right away. 48, yeah. So x squared equals 1,296. All right, so if x squared equals 1,296, how do I get x? Square root of it, so x equals 36. Okay, so that's not so bad, right? What am I going to get here when I square 3x? 9x squared. Okay, be careful with that. Alright, 13. Intersect on the inside, right? Two chords. So what times what? 12 times 10 equals. Yeah, x plus 6 times x minus 1. So I've got 120 equals, and then what do I have to do with those guys? I have to distribute them. Okay, so x times x gives me x squared minus x plus 6x minus 6, so 120 equals x squared plus 5x minus 6, right? Alright, now we have to get everything on the same side. Okay, so what do I need to move? I need to move this 120. So I have subtract 120. And I have x squared plus 5x minus 126 equals 0. Alright, so you have two choices from right here. Okay? All of the problems that you're going to do are factorable. Okay? Or you can use the who? Quadratic formula. Okay? You have two choices. Okay? If I were to factor this, Really? I've got x and x. I heard somebody say they thought they had how to get to 126. 14 and 9. Okay, so if I'm doing 14 and 9, do the 14 times 9, is that multiply to 126? Okay, does it, how am I going to make it add to 5? Plus 14, minus 9. Okay, how do I solve it with two factors? <coughs> Remember where we go, x plus 14 equals 0, x minus 9 equals 0. Remember that? Okay, so if I solve those two, x equals negative 14 and x equals positive 9. Now, we're talking lengths right now, right? Does it make sense to have a negative length? Nope. So, toss out your negative. Your answer is going to be your positive. Okay? Do you want to do one where you use the quadratic formula or are you going to factor all of them? Want to do a quadratic formula one? Okay. So, if we do this next one, okay, we've got outside is, okay, so if we go four times outside plus inside, which is six, equals outside, x times outside plus inside, x plus five. So 
I have 24 equals x squared plus 5x. Okay. Get everything on the same side. So let's move our 24. x squared plus 5x minus 24 equals 0. Right? Right? A equals 1. B equals 5. And C equals negative 24. Right? Your quadratic formula is up over there. Opposite of B, negative 5. Plus or minus the square root of B squared, 25 minus 4 times what's my A? Times what's my C? Negative 24. All divided by 2 times A. Right? So far, so good? Alright, so negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25. Now here's the deal. How many minus signs do I have? 2, so it's going to turn into a plus 96, all divided by 2. So negative 5 plus or minus the square root of what do you get under there? 121. All divided by 2. Alright, and then this is where you have to split. So negative 5 plus, what's the square root of 121? 11. Divided by 2, and negative 5 minus 11 divided by 2. So negative 5 plus 11. Divided by 2, 3, negative 5 minus 11, divided by 2, negative 8, and you pick your positive, throw out your negative. Okay, so you have your choice. All of the ones where you have x squared can be factored, but if you feel more comfortable using the quadratic formula, go ahead. It's 